Yes. Order. Members, the House and Committee on the Crown Minerals Amendment Act 2013 Amendment Bill is resumed. When the committee was interrupted last night, we were debating clauses one to three. The Honourable Mary Ann Street had the call and she has three minutes, 47 seconds remaining. The Honourable Mary Ann Street. Thank you very much, Mr Chairman, and good morning uh, to the House on this Thursday, the 16th of <laughs> May. Um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I'm, I'm interested to see that we have a different minister in the chair this morning, and uh, perhaps the minister responsible has gone home to the Bay of Plenty to take care of really important issues. I mean, clearly, there are important things going on in the Bay of Plenty, as you can tell from the, from the well, get up and raise a point of order. Raise a point of order. There are obviously important things, important things going on in the Bay of Plenty. One of the top stories in the Bay of Plenty Times this morning, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, was the fact that a woman uh, was fined $150 for driving through a red light while flossing her teeth. And uh, perhaps he's, he's gone to take care of that. Mr. Speaker, we're talking about um, those clauses one to three of the bill, which include the title and the commencement. And last night, when I was um, interrupted by midnight, uh, we, uh, I was talking about the fact that the minister needs to be careful about, uh, about the implementation date of this bill, because if he's not careful, if he doesn't give it to a competent staffer, in other words, uh, he could have the amendment coming into effect before the bill that it amends comes into effect. And so the date of, uh, of implementation of this bill, which is to be uh, the day after the royal assent, if he is not careful and doesn't look after it, um, and isn't, uh, doesn't have somebody with, with a little yellow sticky label to bring it up for him on the 25th of May, could find himself in an even more bizarre situation than he currently is. Mr, Mr. Chairman, part of this, uh, this debate this morning is about title, the title of the bill. We could call this the My First Effort Epic Fail Bill, uh, because the, this uh, has been a chapter of errors from the beginning, and it is the Minister's first attempt to bring legislation to the House. So within six weeks, before even the bill, the Act, which we passed a few weeks ago, has been implemented, we are here amending it. We could call it the nobody told me I had to earn my salary bill, because the, uh, the level of incompetence around this procedure has been, uh, has been extraordinary. We could call it the Contempt for Democracy Bill because it does not allow in this rushed process any due consideration by select committee. We could call it the Contempt for Parliament Bill, Mr Chairman, because the disdain with which the Minister has held uh, Parliament is of epic proportions. We could call it the Contempt for Due Process Bill, Mr Chairman, because uh, it has, in fact, denied people who know more than the minister. That's not hard, but it denies people who might know more than mini the minister about maritime and international law, for example, the chance to submit on it. It could be called the New Levels of Ministerial Incompetence Bill because of the ineptitude demonstrated from beginning to end. But probably the National Party would like to call it the How to Lose Friends and Aggravate People Bill, because they're not keen to be here on a Saturday morning, even if uh, the Minister uh, should really go back to watch out for uh, women drivers who drive no, through no. red lights while flossing their teeth. No. Mr. Mr Chairman, it could be called the Strip New Zealanders of Their Right to Protest Bill. It could be called the Strip New Zealand... Mr Chairman, Mr Chairman, Mr Chairman. I'm going to call Andrew Little. Thank you, uh, Mr Chairman. 